loves it's your girl miss natural journey and today is wash day i will be washing my locks and i wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse into the process that i go through when i am washing my locks i try to keep it very simple but i want to do a deep cleansing this time um, i've noticed lately that i've had very dry scalp and some flaking and things like that so I want to make sure that I deep clean so I want to show you guys how I do that and then I'm also going to be using a brand new shampoo that I have never used before it is the Shea Moisture Line mm -hmm. it's the um, African Black Soap Deep Cleansing Shampoo with Tea Tree and Willow Bark Extract and it is for dry itchy scalp that's the reason why I chose this one because um, I want to see if it's going to make a difference. Um, so I'm going to do a quick review afterwards as well. Just letting you know if I notice a difference, if it feels different, if it smells different, um, things like that. I don't use a particular shampoo right now that is really worth ranting over. <laughs> I kind of just mix it up and use whatever is available, which is my bad. So... Um, I hope to get great results from this shampoo and um, I will definitely share the results with you guys. I will also be retwisting my hair. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like a glimpse into how I go about doing that as well. And the reason why I'm going through such a fuss, honey, is because I am going back to California to visit my family this week and I am very, very, very excited. I haven't seen my mother, my sister, my brothers in over a year you know so I'm very excited to go and see them and you know your girl has to be looking fresh so I'm gonna be doing a retwist and um, showing you guys how I go about doing that so if you are interested in seeing how I do my thing go ahead and stick around tell you this while cleaning my hair and cleansing my locks um, I could tell that it was just cleaner than it usually is mainly because you start to feel it it almost feels slippery or just like dr wet dry I don't know it's kind of hard to explain the feeling but ladies you know what it feels like when your hair is being stripped of like all the oils and dandruff and stuff you just get that clean feeling. So I can definitely say 100%, 100% that I uh, felt that with this shampoo. Whew, and a big, big, big plus for me is when I opened the shampoo, first of all, it was sealed, which I didn't even expect. Um, the top of it was sealed. And when I opened it, I could immediately smell it and it smells heavenly, okay? Oh my God, how can I describe this? Let me see. Let me see if I can describe it to you. Um, let's see. Mmm, it's like a sweet but milky smelling smell. It's not like overbearing, but it's kind of like a sweet, I don't know, it's weird. It's like a sweet, creamy smell, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but I will say so far, I give it two thumbs up. Yes, honey. Let me see if I... Yes, all the flakes. Mm, I need to rinse it. All right, so now that I have re, I have re rinsed my hair. It is time to go ahead. I'm not gonna actually condition it. 
I'm going to use um, one of Shea Moisture's um, moisturizing mists as kind of like a leave-in conditioner and um, use a little bit of oil to um, moisturize as well. Reason being is, you know, conditioning it and then moisturizing it to me for my hair is just too much. I already have very fine hair. I don't need for it to be extremely soft. So I try to um, not always use straight conditioner. So that's just what I do for my locks. Of course, it's different for different people. If you have thicker hair, coarser hair, you, you definitely want to um, condition your hair no matter what people say. You should definitely condition your hair unless you want some crusty locks, which no one likes. Um, <laughs> So yeah, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize it, and then I'm going to start the twisting process. So stick around. All right, guys. So this is the uh, moisturizing mist that I was mentioning to you guys, also by Shea Moisture. Um, it is Yucca and Baobab Thickening Moisture Mist with biotin and bamboo extract. So and this is for fine, thin hair, which I have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just spritz this all around just for a little extra moisturizing. I'll try to make sure I definitely get the front. It's the last place you want to have dry hair because dryness can and will lead to breakage. So try to make sure I get all in there concentrated and then over the rest I don't have to concentrate so hard on. Kind of rake it through your locks. Make sure you get it in the inside. And once again, this is just what I use. Um, use what's best for your hair. I don't think there's one product that I've tried that I could honestly say is good for everyone's hair. Like everyone's texture is different. Everyone's locks can handle different things. So. You use what works for you, boo. All right, so. All right, so now that that is worked in, I'm gonna just put my hair in a ponytail and start with the twisting. So I usually just put it in like a loose ponytail just to hold my locks up since they are wet. And you can separate your hair however you whatever works best for you. <laughs> You're going to hear me say that a lot because it truly is whatever works best for you. So there's no one way to do anything in this world just about. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the front. Usually I start with the back before the sake of showing you guys kind of how I do it. I'm going to start with the front. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually mi mixing this. This is called Nature's Blessing. I ordered this on Amazon for about eight bucks. It is... Um, like an all natural pomade, hair pomade. So it's a conditioner, a restorer, a root build, builder, and it contains like nothing but natural products. So you can actually use this for your skin, your lips, um, and your hair. And I feel like if you can use anything for your skin and other parts of your body, then that's a good product. So I try to stick with pretty natural products for the most part. So um, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking some of this, I'm going to scoop it out with a um, Q-tip and I'm just going to put it into, you can put it into a little dish. I'm just using a top of a gel that I have and I'm just putting it into there. I'll show you guys how much I'm dumping out in just a moment. So I have dumped about that much into this tray. And then I'm going to take my um, aloe vera gel, 100% aloe vera gel. You do not want to get aloe vera gel, gel with alcohol in it. This does not have alcohol in it um, because that's a drying, very drying agent. So I'm just going to squeeze it on in there. I try to put more gel than pomade. Um, I would say about twice as much, uh, mainly because you want it to hold. You don't want it to be, you know, greasy or anything and this stuff isn't really it's greasy but it's not like a thick heavy grease it's like a like a light grease um, and then so I put about that much and then I just mix it in because I want to uh, moisturize as well as get a good hold and I noticed when I started using this that I get a better hold because before when I would retwist my locks 
um, they would just, they would come loose very easily. So ever since I started doing this, I get a great hold and it's very moisturized. So I put a little bit more gel in there. Just mixing that in there. And you'll have to refill this. I mean, this is just a starter amount. As you go, you're gonna run out <laughs> of this little mixture here. So as you go, you just refill it. Alrighty, um, I'm going to be using these little clips here to kind of hold my hair in place um, and to also hold my hair away from my face. Uh, I did have a bigger one, but I don't know where it went. So I'm gonna be using these. Alrighty, and if I'm gonna start in the front, I'm just gonna start right here in the corner. I try to make sure that there's no strands like attached because if you if you have locks if you have small locks big locks whatever locks you will um, see that your locks start to kind of intertwine I don't know how but like strands from one lock will be over here and you know vice versa so you just want to make sure that you separate that before you do anything and uh, I'm just going to use this to kind of hold it back I gather about that much in my finger smooth it onto the lock. I don't have a whole lot of new growth so I'm not going to twist like crazy. I'm going to be very gentle in my twisting. I just want to kind of use this as maintenance for right now because I I re um, interlocked my hair just a couple of months ago but I do have some new growth. So I just do that there. I um, prom roller just a little bit not for all of them but for some of them. <laughs> and then I use that to hold it there. And I move on to the next. You see that? There's like strands. <laughs> like they're just trying to hold hands. I'm going to just separate that a little bit. You want to be pretty gentle with your locks. Like I said, some people's hair can take more than others. My hair is very fine, so I try to be as gentle as I can be with my hair. And I just take that and put that into that clip as well. that on there and, and once you do this for a while you become very fast at it and I'm, I'm doing it slow right now just to kind of show you guys the process I'll do one more for you guys on camera like I said I don't have much new growth so I'm not going crazy with this so all right so I've redone those so far and I'm gonna finish up and I'll be back to show you guys the final results.